Alright, so I have a few questions. But first of all, can you look at the camera and say, Hi, I'm Karani James, and then maybe uh, 2012, 400 meter Olympic gold medalist, whatever you want to say. Actually, it's up to you. It's up to me? Just introduce yourself. Okay, Kirani James, um, 2012, 400 meters Olympic gold medalist, a student of the University of Alabama. Awesome. Are you still, so you're still a student here, you haven't graduated yet? Yep. Oh, okay, when do you graduate? Um, it depends. I'm a part-time student, so I mean, it really depends on how many um, hours I take each semester. Okay. So, you know, but I'm already halfway there, so. Okay, gotcha. There you go. Very nice. Um, okay, well, I'll get started. Um, yeah, take me through like a shortened version of leading up to the, or just your time at the Olympics and what proud it was for you to win a gold medal. Um, you know, it, it was um, a very unique experience because, you know, not everyone can say that you know, they're Olympia and stuff like that. But, you know, leading up to it, you know, I had a lot of huge expectations on me, you know, so um, it was kind of hard keeping calm at first. But then, you know, it was just, you know, whatever. Just, you know, go out and do my best, you know, make everyone proud. What went through your mind when you crossed that finish? Um, just filled with pride, you know, because, you know, I know there's a lot of people, you know, that affiliated with me that, you know, are proud of me and are proud of my achievements. So, you know, I was just proud, you know, just to go out and represent them and represent my country. And then I bet you've had just a crazy experience after the Olympics. So how has life been since then? Um, you know, I try to keep it simple, you know, don't try to, you know, be too flamboyant or anything like that, you know, but I mean, it, it, it has changed, you know, when I go home, you know, people go crazy, you know, so I mean, it's a, um, I guess it's kind of a, a responsibility now, you know, so I mean, but, you know, everyone has been proud of me, you know, everyone is, is just happy, you know, and just filled with pride. That is awesome. Um, yeah, talk a little bit more about the reception you received in Grenada. Uh, well, it was my birthday weekend too, so it was kind of a double ce celebration. So, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, the whole country went crazy. You know, there was an island-wide motorcade and stuff. So, I mean, like I said, everyone is just proud, you know, just to be a Grenadian and just be a part of this. Absolutely. Um, when you, okay, so now, when you see, we're still rolling. When you see that gold medal, what, what, what goes through your mind now a couple months later? Um, you know, um, it's just, I don't even know how to describe it. You know, I'm at a loss of words right now because, you know, um, it's a it's a unique feeling, you know, just to be an Olympic gold medalist and, you know, first for your country, you know. So, I mean, that's a huge honor for me. And, you know, I'm just thankful that I have an opportunity to do that and just be a part of it. You really, okay, this isn't a question, but you really impressed me because you don't, you know, it's like an individual accomplishment, but you're just... I'm, I mean, you do it for your country. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not just about me, you know, right. because you know they play a huge part too. So. Yeah, it's just. That's very impressive. Sure. Um, okay, so switching gears a little bit, um, talk about uh, how your faith may have played a role in the experience going to. Uh, well, well, you know, when I look back at, at certain stuff and certain achievements, you know, I really don't, you know, think it, it, it was all up to me. You know, I think God blessed me, you know, um, with, obviously with talent, you know, with determination and, you know, I mean, he can take it back anytime. You know, he can, you know, call the shots or anything like that. So, I mean, I really, you know, thank him, you know, each and every day, you know, I pray a lot, you know, about my situation and everything like that. So, I mean, it, I just owe it all to him. It's really cool how you have a larger perspective, not just on the track, but also off, off the field. Um, and then, yeah, lastly, just kind of how it motivates you to run for something like bigger than yourself. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, it's not just about me because, you know, um, it's about, you know, helping other people and helping, you know, my country unite. And, you know, people that are affiliated with me, you know, give them that sense of pride, you know, that they can, you know, feel proud of something, you know, so, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, I never run for me, you know, I always run for people that are affiliated with me, and, you know, that has motivated me to go out and do my best because, you know, there is no pressure, you know, as long as I go out and do my best, you know, they're going to be proud of me, nevertheless. All right, is there anything else you want to add? 